Um, this is a sort of installation of a part of Bill's Junk, which is a store that I run in Houston. And it's a little 1125 East 11th Street in Houston. Um, it used to be my studio, um, but I moved into that building. It's a historic building in Houston Heights. And I moved into the building about three years ago. And when you move, you have a lot of extra stuff. And so I realized I had a lot. I've been collecting thrift store art for about 20 years. And um, I realized I had a lot more stuff than I needed to have. And so, you know, was the new building was, was a storefront. You know, my studio was in a, in a storefront building, a commercial building. And so I put all the stuff I wanted to get rid of in the front and open the door on the weekend, like a yard sale. And people came by, and then more people came by, and then a lot of people came by. It was like this, it was a thing, I guess, because I guess this is a little strange. Um, but, uh, and then it was featured in the, uh, the Contemporary Art Museum of Houston. They asked me to reinstall the store as an art piece in, the, in a show called No Zoning at, at the Contemporary Art Museum, where even more people saw it. And uh, I've gotten rid of a lot of junk. <laughs> But, and, and, you know, people ask me, you know, what I'll, whether I buy new stuff. And I just get stuff out of storage and just get, you know, I just pull out more stuff that I don't really need and, uh, and put it out. But, uh, yeah, I guess I'm an artist. So I originally started collecting this stuff as, uh, as source material, you know, because I've always been very interested in the way creativity is something that everybody's got and you can't stop it. You know, people think, oh, you have to support the arts. But the truth is you can't kill them. It's like people make art. It's like they, whether they are artists, whether they think of themselves as professional artists or not, people are always fiddling with stuff and making stuff. They get an idea and then they start working on it. And that's all the stuff in here is stuff that people just got an idea and, and made something. Um, and, you know, I love that. And it's like, and so whenever I see it, I, I grab it if I can afford it. And uh, so I have a lot of stuff. And, and it's nice to be able to put it back into, you know, get it into the hands of people that appreciate it. Because all this stuff was thrown away at some time. You know, every one of these things, somebody spent a lot of time and effort on. And then it got thrown away at some point. And uh, that just seemed like a great opportunity for me. It's like, wow, you know this painting, someone spent all this time and work on it, and I can, I can just get it for cheap. Um, and so uh, so I did, and then hopefully I'm sort of redistributing it out to people who will appreciate it. Um, but uh, I don't know what else to say. My favorite things, um, my favorite things are still in my house. <laughs> These are, I mean, there's some nice stuff here. I mean, Merle Haggard, I guess he's pretty cool. I think there are probably people that would be, I'm just not a big country music fan, so he's not really my kind of thing, but that's a pretty amazing piece of art. It's a, it's a Merle Haggard album cover done by Shelton in 1982. And it's like totally labor intensive. Someone labored over this to make a copy of a Merle Haggard album cover. Very, very, this thing, the, the Queen of Space, is, this is all made out of paper punch dots. Like somebody, I don't know, you know, and they have like little, they put in some pink ones down here and white, you know, it's like incredibly worked over, you know, to get this sort of pointless mosaic kind of effect. Um, I mean, that's totally nutty. I mean, they cut out, what did they go through, magazines and cut out pictures that had the right shades of blue and sort them by color and then paste them down like this to make this sort of weird clean woman. Anyway, I don't know who made it. I don't know why they made it, but it's pretty cool, you know. Uh, and I, I guess I love that that you can you can see the the what's cool about it totally out of context. It's you know it doesn't have to be in a museum or a gallery or anything. It's like that's cool wherever you see it. 